Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be watching The Lighthouse. Uh, apologies um, if you follow my channel. It has been a little bit of a while since my last upload. It's been about three weeks. Long story short, I've been working a lot. I had to be away. I wasn't in the house and that's all there is to it really. So anyway, yeah, it's quite late at night at the moment. It's been a long day. So I was like, it's fine. Just, just choose something nice and easy, like chilled watching. So I chose The Lighthouse. All I've heard, all I've heard from this film, because I don't know anything about it. This is a first impressions, first watch. I don't know anything about it. I'm really excited. I really want to see it when it came out and I didn't get the chance to. It's got Robin Pattinson and Willem Dafoe in who, both of whom I like and um, I've heard it's fucking crazy and that excites the shit out of me. Let's just, let's just go, let's just get into it. Let's just watch it. I don't know anything about it other, other than it's like two guys at a lighthouse. Things get weird, I've heard. Um, I think there's a thing with a mermaid but I don't know what that's about. I think the most that anyone's ever said anything in front of me was like, there's a scene with a mermaid and then they looked at someone else who'd also seen it and they were like, oh my God, what the fuck? And then, and then that was it. So I don't know. I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to it. I, I'll be honest with you. All I want from this film is for it to blow my fucking head off. That's it. That's it. Um, physically, mentally, both, both. Why not? Fucking, fucking treat me. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's just go um, and we will we'll see. We'll see for ourselves. Wow, violence, sexual content, drug use, foul language, nudity, amazing. All the fucking ticks across the board. Man, I can't wait for things to get weird. I love that the guy in charge of this. I love that the guy was like, yeah, fuck the mainstream, fuck them. Fuck normal convention, black and white. It's not gonna take up the whole screen. I don't know the technical term, I I'm a dumbass, all right? Just get on board. <laughs> the guy was like, nah, fuck them. They wanted chicken. They wanted chicken. They're getting some fucking haggis and they'll be happy with it. Ooh, a very ominous opening. Oh man, it feels good to be doing a YouTube video. Like, I, uh, it's been like three weeks, man. And it's just like, I'm sat here, got my sat up watching a film. Mm, I do, I enjoy it. I like it. I like this, I like this shit. It's good. Thank you for joining me on this, on this. I'll shut the fuck up, apologies. I fucking love this. You can tell just by the way he walked in, the way he's got the cigarette, the way he's just kind of like going about his business. He's fully in the character and he's just having a good time with it. I bet they had a meeting before this and they were like, how the fuck do we glam down Robert Pattinson? Like, what do we, what the fuck do we do? Put a moustache on him. Put the biggest fucking moustache on him you can find. I don't know, man. I don't think it's working. He's rocking the moustache. What can I say? Oh, mermaid. Here we go. I'm prepared for, for some, some but like batshit stuff happening. So like I saw that hole and I was like, he's gonna fuck it. I'm in the mood for this kind of film. I have to say like, I feel like it's gonna be a slow film and I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm good, I'm good. To four weeks. Cool beans. Is it four weeks? I, I understood it's against regulations. So. Did you? And the thing is right, I think, it, um, I think the film goes to pains to uh, settle you into that mindset. Of like this is going to be a like a slow, a slow, a slow film. Seven minutes in, this is the first dialogue, bit of dialogue, right? And it's been kind of, it's not been that slow, but you know they're coming in, everything's old, everything's creaky. It's kind of stuff happening, but they're not really talking. It's, it, it kind of it prepares you, I think, for the kind of film it's going to be in those first five minutes, which I think is like, it does, it settles you into that. But it's just kind of like a little, little gentle slide. It's like whoop, go, go down it, pew. This is the film. <sighs> then you do as I say. That's in your book too. Ooh, power dynamics. Bend him over, give him a spank. Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. No, it was a joke. It was a bad joke. That is not the way to win authority. Unless it's in the bedroom. In which case, you know, consent. It's only four weeks though, right? I feel like it's gonna feel like way longer. You hear me, lad? Yes, sir. Aye, sir. I understand the dynamic they go, they're going for, but like, he corrects me and says like, aye sir. I'd be like, fucking aye mate, fucking aye aye captain. I'd be on board, I'd be so on board. I'd be like, where's your fucking parrot, sir? Show me your parrot. They're not pirates, Tyler. Are they though? I feel like this is almost in answer to the millennial and generations kind of coming after 
because it's like you know it's hard work it's like he's, he's like see to your duties lad it's like it's hard fucking work like it's completely in stark contrast not every job obviously there are there are still hard labor jobs nowadays but not too i don't know not quite with this film it's kind of highlighting how kind of i guess unforgiving the workplace was whereas now we're going out getting our fucking fucking lattes and frappes and all that shit before we go in at nine it is what it is I, i'm on board with it i'm just saying you know it just it, i i just find myself comparing present day to this stuff but it's an interesting c contrast i think oh what are we looking at these are the mermaids no seriously that's the only information i have so i'm just i'm looking out for mermaids at this point Oh. oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. By the way, if you've never seen my videos before, this is a commentary. So I do stop and talk quite a lot. Apologies or not. I don't know. Maybe you enjoy it. Fuck it. This guy got so much gas. To be fair though. Like I'm vegan. I know, fucking okay. But I feel him. Biggest thing when you go vegan? Gas. I don't make the rules. Oh, I mean, those beans say hello, right? That's what I'm saying. Those beans ain't shy. What? Is he fucking the mattress? I mean, hey, look, you know, Lonely Island. So, do we blame him? I don't think I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's such hard work, isn't it? Because you think about it, you're like, being a lighthouse keeper might, must be must be pretty easy, right? And maybe nowadays it is. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe fucking hard. I don't, no idea. You got one job. One job. Light the fucking thing. That's it. Probably not true. There's probably a lot more to it than that. I'm a dumbass, remember, right? Remember, fucking remember. Back then, clearly, fucking harder than, harder than you think. You're fixing to burn the old light down. Like, what's this guy doing? When Rob is hauling shit up. The rest of your duties, you're behind and already. Rest of your duties, right? You're too slow. You're a dullard? Jesus. Could you imagine? I've worked in places, right? Where like there's a pot wash, for example. And it's, it's hard fucking work. It's hot. You gotta scrub pans and shit to dry it. I've never done it myself. I've seen people doing it. I'm like, I never want to do that in my life. I'll be honest with you. There's people, most of the time, eight out of ten times, they last a day. One fucking day. If you have people nowadays doing this shit, they would last like barely a day. Really, hey, 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 boss, hey, man. So, um, really sorry, man. Yeah, I know, I know you swamped. You got loads. You got loads to do. I, I get you. I get you. But um, got an emergency. I got to fuck off. I, hey, I know. Fuck it's it's shit. But I've got a fucking gut. I feel like I feel like the film so far is like just showing how shit work conditions were, and how like people just had to do the thing because you do have a choice nowadays. You can just walk away. Whereas, can't necessarily do that in this situation. I do wonder though, like, is Willem's character, is he just, because we haven't seen him do shit, right? I don't know, I don't know, I, can you tell that I have no idea how lighthouses work in whatever time this is? But, uh, is he, is he the one that's just chill? You know, he's got a book, he's got a book and a deck chair up top, having a sly wank on the side. I don't know, hey, I don't judge, I don't judge. Four weeks, Rob, four weeks. The only medicine. Drink. Tell you what, I'm on fucking board with that lad. What made your last keeper leave? Him, be second. Mm hmm. Died. Wait, he said died, right? Oh, Sunny. Mum, fix us up some coffee. Long night ahead. You know what? Willem is so good in this so far. It's fucking epic. I love him. Oh, this fucking ghoul, mate. He's gonna kill the ghoul. He's gonna see. He's, he's gonna kill the seagull. We know it, right? We know this. Doing this shit on the window. I don't even blame him that much. There we go. I mean, I did mention the wanking, so not a big surprise. Nice steady rhythm. Do you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna just gonna bow out of that. I'm not gonna judge the wanking. That's weird. Is he naked? Does he worship the light? Is he like a human embodiment of a moth? I'd buy it. I think Willem. I think Willem can do it. I think Willem can do that. 
I mopped and swept twice over. Ye yeah, lion dog. Dude, you're wanking over a light. Out every single nail from every molding nail all in suck off every speck of rust till all them nails sparkle like a sperm whale's pecker. You'll do it! And by God and by golly, you'll do it, smiling lad, because you like it. You like it because I says you will. You know, I've met guys like this. Fucking c I just gotta take a moment because Willem's hair is fantastic. Smiling lad, I ain't yours. Keep still. I am. Oh my god. Shit. Fucking see. You know what? This seagull is the antagonist of the film. I love it. He is wanking to the light. Right? I'll tell you what, mate. Be careful. Stood beneath, that's what I'm saying. Wow. I did not expect to be right. I was making a joke. I was making a joke. I really wish I wasn't right. Oh no. Why are you still stood there? Okay. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, fine. I might have been wrong. I might have been wrong. I'm not sure. All we know was there was something else involved. <laughs> At the end of the day, in the middle of nowhere. Get it where you can. No, that's not true. I don't stand by that. I don't stand by that at all. Uh oh. I mean, he didn't kill it. That doesn't count. You snitch. Don't you snitch? He didn't do it. Okay, so he killed. He killed this one. <laughs> do we? Do we blame him? Like a little bit. Like this is an overreaction. But it's a little shit of a goal, right? We all know that, we all saw that. Which it's a calm before the storm winds low. Yeah, I'll tell you what though, he's calling you by his, your name. It's good. You're getting off this rock tomorrow, he winds low. Oh, fair, short film. <coughs> Definitely not getting off, is he? The boat ain't coming. The boat is not coming. I'll tell you what, man, don't tell him about the goal. Do not tell him about this is the kind of guy that will lose his shit if you tell him about the goal. Bonding. <laughs> I'm the keeper of this station, lad. Some other station you can tend the light. Man. It's because he don't want you fucking his mermaid, mate. I don't, I don't know your name. Willem. Thomas. Oh. Uh. Thomas? I'm Thomas Wade. I thought he was going to say Thomas Wayne. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Rob just comes out, opens the door in a bat costume like, <laughs> I'm Batman. Is that a mermaid? I'm kind of annoyed that it's a pretty girl. You know what I mean, I expected more of this film. I wanted it. I wanted it to be like monstrous. That's a nipple. That is a nipple. I don't feel it. Oh, that was a caress. Rob, Rob, don't live up to the mustache, Rob. Okay, that's all. Stop going lower. The tender's coming. Seventy-five. Old striker was my room here for seven long months. He was. Oh fuck that. The leg. Catholic nuns and such like. You must have misheard. <sighs> we got a liar. Uh, we got a liar. Stab him, Rob. Well, okay, no. Gather more evidence first. What? What? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> My favourite scene so far. If I had a steak, oh boy, I would fuck it. <laughs> what a thing to do. You don't like me cooking? Oh, don't be That's what you took from that? Amazing. <laughs> Horseshit! You fix us for supper. You're drunk! I, you won't be saying that! Can you kick You're drunk, you wouldn't... You wouldn't fuck my steak, you'd eat my steak! You're fond of me, lobster! This guy really took it personally that he wouldn't eat his food. Hark! Hark! Triton! Jesus, he's really, really sensitive about his cooking. Hey, we've all got our thing. But is now itself the sea. I mean, the guy just wants to fuck, man. All right, have it your way. I like your cooking. <laughs> really kind of entrancing film. Like you can't, you, you do get drawn into it. You know, and it does kind of just take you along for the ride. It kind of grips you and it's like, what's happening now? Let's go. You know, there's long scenes where like Willem was having this monologue 
one of these long things where it holds you and, and like the actors are so good that they hold you i think it, it does kind of serve to just draw you in jesus I know that Rob Pattinson is kind of eccentric, and I, I love that I'm seeing that side of him right now. Wait, did he fuck the mermaid? What the fuck? What am I watching right now? Did he fuck the mermaid? Did he rape the mermaid? Ah, I'm confused. Is your dick okay, Rob? What's happened? I mean, the mermaid had like a vagina on the outside. Like, I mean, hey, look, I've never seen a mermaid, so I oh, fucking. Yeah, just get drunk. You'll be fine. <laughs> I love these moments. I love these moments where they're just getting fucking smashed. <laughs> I love it. I do love it. Amazing. Amazing. Now, fuck. Are they gonna kiss? Hey, I'm here, I'm here for it. Do it, guys. <laughs> Masculinity. Oh, no, we're not gay. <clears throat> That's what just happened. Like, guys, you've been out there on your own for a while. Rob might have fucked a mermaid. Just, hey, break the seal. How else am I gonna find respectable work? Oh, fourth wall break. Hello. Hi, hey, hi, Rob. Well, what's going on, dude? Don't fuck the mermaid. Maybe do. I don't know what's going on. To be Is it gonna be like a like a like a thing where he 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 ended up he killed Tom and he's been seeing Tom this whole time? I don't know, man. I'm just I'm speculating. Uh oh. Oh my God, he's got something in his hands. He's gonna beat him, dude. Rob, bastard. Sh oh shit. <laughs> I just don't know what to trust. I don't trust any of them. I don't trust anything that's happening. And I knew you was mad when you smashed up that lifeboat just now and chasing me with an axe trying to kill old Tom. What? 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 Don't you trust me, Tommy? Is it a case of... Because now, now, now the, the film, the film, it's interesting because the film is introducing this idea of the... Um, unreliable narrator it's like do we trust what we've seen or do we trust what willem's character tom is saying and that it was rob or do we assume that willem tom is doing that to take advantage of his kind of vulnerable mindset to like insert that into rob's head as winslow as what actually happened even though it didn't but he's trying to like kind of take advantage of him do you know what I mean? The film's, the film's like throwing all this stuff at you of like, and, and all you kind of come away from it with is scepticism. I don't know what's happening. I don't know who to trust. I don't know who to believe. I don't know whether to believe what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know. Because that's the interesting thing is that the knife, we've only ever seen Rob had the knife and we haven't seen that Willem saw him have the knife. But He's just basically been like, yeah, I knew about the knife. You shouldn't have the knife. Give me the knife. It's like, we didn't know that he knew. So that feeds into that as well. Feeds into the skepticism. And the idea that what we're seeing isn't quite everything. Who are you again, Tommy? I'm probably a figment of your imagination. Wait, did he just call, did he just call him Tommy? Do you know what? I, I do kind of hope film just ends. It doesn't give me anything. <laughs> Strangely enough, I'd be okay with it. Fuck me. Oh, okay. I was like, that, that aim is spot on. Not so much anymore, but hey. Where's the mermaid scene? The him fucking the mermaid. Is that it? Because I, I built that up in my head as, as this huge thing. I thought it was going to be way worse than that. Like, to me, that, that scene wasn't even that bad compared to, like, what I'd built up in my head. No, I didn't imagine anything in my head. Like, A, B, A, B, fucking B, A, B, A. But I think I just built it. You know, when your ex expectations ruin... I didn't ruin it, but, like, I just... I was expecting a lot more, I guess. So I guess he just fucked a mermaid then, yeah? What's wrong with your hand? Too much wanking. Smelly jism. Like rotten dick. Like, like... Colonel Fosk. 
Like Ooh. hot onions fucked a Get him, Rob. hot shit house. Get him, Rob. I'm, I'm Go sick on. of your smell. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, you goddamn drunk, you goddamn no account, son of a bitch, bastard liar. Did he say jism? You have a way with words, Tommy. <laughs> I swear this guy's reaction to stuff, just stuff, is, is way out there. And I fucking love it. You're relieved of your duties. What? A painted actress screaming in the footlights. A bitch what wants to be coveted for nothing but being born, crying about the silver spoon what should have been yours. Ooh, I'm getting big millennial vibes. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like commentary on like, I don't know. The youth of today. You're done, to old Winslow. Will you best me then? For Winslow, we're right. Thomas, you're a dog. A filthy dog! Winslow was right, Thomas. Hang on, what? Hang on. I feel like I've been bamboozled. Is it just himself? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something going on with identity and who they are. And is it the same person? Is it not? It's nearly 2 a.m., so I don't really know. <laughs> And my brain's not working that well, so. I'll be honest with you, like, I don't know exactly what's going on right now, but it's fine. I'm, I'm cool with it. You know, maybe it's just something so simple, like, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it's just something so simple as, like, two guys, they get stranded, they're a bit fucking crazy, they're getting hammered all the time to, to, to cope, and that's it. And you know what? That's, that's cool, too. Um, it's like, it's, it's such a ride, and I feel like that's the thing. It's almost the film, I feel like, is such a petri dish for ideas. I feel like everyone you ask about this film probably comes away with it with a different opinion and of what happened and what is happening and who they are and blah, blah, blah and everything. And, and that's what's interesting about it, I think. I think that's what probably incites a lot of conversation about it. At least for, I, I've not seen the end yet, I suppose, so I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, my, my strongest prevailing theory so far is because like Willem's character keeps calling Rob's character Tom and like Winslow as if it's another person. So like it's almost like the, the identity has shifted. So it's like it's making me believe that they are the same person, but like a younger version of that. And maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe it's the whole thing of maybe it's not literal. Maybe it's kind of a me metaphorical thing. Very right, abstract. There is definitely an element of unreliable narrator, which doesn't help we work out what's happening. Yeah, it's almost like they are just kind of personifications of, of their own selves fighting each other. You know, maybe kind of two parts of a tumultuous mind in this kind of a situation, trying to deal with being stranded alone. Because, you know, before Willem was like, don't leave me, don't leave me. And maybe there is this kind of fixation on being alone and loneliness and not being left alone. And maybe that is because they are alone. The person is alone and there's this kind of, they're being left by themselves for so long. These parts of their minds have almost been personified and they're warring against each other and, and clashing and melding and getting on, but they're not getting on and warring against each other in, in the same way that I think minds sometimes do. I don't know, at least at the moment, I feel like that's what that's what I'm coming down on. And it is. I think it is such an abstract film that you can kind of, Make of it what you will. He's gonna get up there and it's just gonna be a light. That's it. Okay, so look at him right now. He's bloodied. That was not how we left him the last time. It's like he's been beaten up. The same way that we just saw Rob beat up Willem. I mean, I thought he killed Willem, so I don't know. But like, do you know what I mean? I just feel like there's evidence there. There's enough fodder there to be like, they're the same person. And that's the thing as well, like Willem has had this fixation with the light and everything that goes on up here, which it's been built up so much in regard to Rob that we now as the audience are kind of, he's coming into this. Yeah, it's been built up enough from Rob's perspective that now that he's finally, like finally seen it for the, the first time, we're appreciating that it's like this, oh, it's this big thing in the, in the way that Willem perceives it to be. Do you know what I mean? But because we've been introduced to it this way as the audience, we're feeling the same kind of reverence, I guess, that Willem will be. But it's still, in my head, working with the idea that they're the same person. By the way, I might be completely wrong. I probably am. But that's just what I'm... That's, that's, I don't know. I, that's, I guess that's the, the theory that I'm working with because I kind of prefer that. End. I'd be cool with the ending right there. I'll be honest with you. Yikes. Yeah, because I wonder if that other person that we saw with the white hair was Winslow. Damn, nice. 
See, I don't know where this story came from, but I can imagine there was a story of some lighthouse keeper that was eaten alive by gulls, and that was where this story came from. I don't know where it came from, but like, I can just imagine someone being like, reading a story of a lighthouse keeper being eaten alive, and being like, do you know what, I'm going to write a film about that, and get to that point. Cool. Interesting film though. Okay, so um, this is what I've decided. I really like this film. I like I like the film to be honest. I think it's uh, it's really interesting. I think it, it is the kind of film where it, it is quite abstract. So I think it's the kind of thing I think a lot of people will come away from thinking different things about it. And I think that's what's kind of that's an interesting point about that's 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 something that is I do find interesting about it. Coming up against people who have seen the film, it'll be like, oh, what do you think of it? You know, what was your theory? What do you think? And and I haven't, bearing in mind, I haven't seen any kind of, um, you know, theories. I haven't seen anyone being like, okay, the film means this. Whatever I think of it, and I will tell you that in a second. If someone else comes up with something different and is like, oh yeah, no, fair enough, but I thought this, and it's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't see that. I think it, I think it, I think there's enough ingredients in there that um, allow for a lot of conclusions to be drawn. So what I think, my best, I guess, interpretation of what happened I think Willem, uh, Willem and Rob's character are the same person. And I don't think, I'm going to go back on what I said of, in that it's a commentary on loneliness in the lighthouse. I don't think they were alone. I think they were with um, Winslow. And I think Winslow was the um, white-haired person. I think so. And I think it was a reflection of uh, Tom, Rob and Willem's character, if we're going to assume they're the same person. I think it was a re reflection of them going a little bit Losing a few screws, let's say. But there was the whole obsession with the light and the lighthouse. Maybe that was even supposed to be part of what drove them to the eventuality that we were given. <laughs> even now, where I'm like putting my thoughts together, I'm like, I don't fucking know, dude. I think whatever I say right now, I think it's probably going to, it might even change within, because the, it's the kind of film where I think I, it is something that I can think on and probably come up with something. And I'll think of something tomorrow and I'm like, holy fucking shit. What about that? I think there was some kind of discrepancy between Winslow and who they thought Winslow was. And then it throws into question, like, who the fuck did Rob fuck? And then again, you could just, you could scrap all of that and just be like, it's just two dudes in a lighthouse going a little bit fucking crazy because they're stranded. But I think that's the beauty of it. I think that's, that is the beauty of it. You can kind of just be like, fuck it. I just, I enjoyed the ride. It was fucking crazy. It was entertaining. I think it was, and that's the thing. I think at its base and at its core, and I think what makes this enjoyable to watch, and I think if anyone thinks it's a good film, what makes it a good film, I think, is that it's, it's entertaining. You know, whether it's from um, just watching the um, actors perform, because I think they really both phoned it in really fucking well. I think they both did some uh, really good performances. Like, Willem, Willem really hit it off from the get-go, and I think Rob kind of got into it in a big way towards the end where he like fucking turned up, yeah? And I think the, the general events of the film led to kind of a crescendo where like everything was fucking kicking off. The film at the beginning kind of just drew you in, got you along for the ride, and then it was like, right, fucking hold on, you know, and boom. Hopefully I've articulated myself enough. I am a little bit tired, it's like 2 a.m. now. Thank you for watching. Um, that concludes uh, this video. Um, please have a look down below. There are some links. I am also an author. There are some novellas down there. I have a coffee account if you want to support the channel as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Maybe the old subscribe if you fancy. And um, hopefully I will see you in the next one.